I do this every season I hate when summer comes I fall into a trap that I made by myself Oh, and I always do the wrong thing I'm unstable and I'm unsteady I've lost a million times already And I'm so sorry but I'm not able to slow me down I feel unable and so unworthy My heart feels heavy, I've lost already And I'm so sorry but I'm not able to slow down now Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. My name is Barbara and here we do a lot of lifestyle plugs, beautiful content. So I have a few upgrades and others are not even upgrades. Others are few buys that I'd like to share them with you. But if you're interested, you can get the new ones where I got the new ones and you can get the thrifted ones when you go to the market. And speaking of the market, I got some few thrifted things that I'll show you shortly and I know I promised a bedroom haul but I think that video will come probably next week or next week but one depends I'm either thinking of doing the outdoor video first and then doing the bedroom haul bef before we go do the bedroom refresh yeah refresh upgrades because a lot of things because uh, I've bought a lot of things for the house for the bedroom uh, yeah, so I guess with that, let's do the haul today. Yeah, so I excuse me. <clears throat> so I just want it to be a short video, just kitchen home upgrade haul, and then and then we just call it a video. That's it, straight into the haul. So I got thrifted items that if you want thrifted items more so in Gikomba that's where I get most of my thrifted items because I also run a thrifted business the name is uniqueness collection official but before we go that thank you so much for guys who followed bought and all those who meet me at the market and probably at the mall at the supermarket you say hi thank you thank you so much I really do appreciate your engagement and you saying hi i can't remember all your names but thank you for saying hi and yeah so the plug for thrifted home decor items i get them in gikomba and mostly you can get them on tuesday and on thursday so those two days you can get nice thrifted items but the prices are a bit pricey if you compare with the other days that as the days go by yeah but my suggestion if you want to have first hand things go on tuesday or go on thursday with those few details let me show you what i got i didn't get all the thrifted items in a day i'll show you what i got in one day and what i got in another day so i got this metallic um tray it's not even metallic this is glass yes it's a glass tray and that is how it looks like this one sits on top of my console the white console that we made this one sits on top of it and it's looking cute i'll go and show you guys how i you know what i put here i'll, I'll, I'll set up with you guys so that is one on the same day this one i got it for 400 on the same day I, I got this one this is a jug it's still new that is how it looks like this one i got it for 300 shillings
but this one I didn't get them on Tuesday this one I got them on Saturday this is a Saturday that I was in the market so I got these ones the two of those two of those I got those ones so the other items I got all of them are the same day let me start with these ones These ones I got them on on Thursday, Thursday market day. I got this one for cup holding. It's heavy, heavy metal. That is what I'll describe it. That is how it looks like. It has like a cupboard, two leaves, and you can put your six cups right over there. And it's such a cute little little thing. So that is one and it actually matches the the kettle the kettle and the and the cup holder matches beautifully so the next thing i got are these um razors and i got four of them these ones these ones oh for for this one this one i got it for 500 shillings and he doesn't bargain on <laughs> on thursday <laughs> the market open day he doesn't want any bargaining so 500 i thought it was a nice one then i got these razors that you can put uh, on your cabinets put something on top and then put some so i got like white four of them because these are two and then these ones are also two so i got four of them these ones were 300 each and i got all of them there were only four so i got four of them so the next thing that i got on the same day i got this one This one is for tea bags. <coughs> that is how it looks like. So this one I got it for 300 shillings. And the last thrifted item that I got was this um, kitchen towel holder this one and it has the stand the plastic ones and it's nice a cute one it matches the wooden feel that I have that is going on in my in my in my kitchen and basically those are the things that I got those ones thrifted items now let's go to the new items that I got and I'll continue with the kitchen so these ones I got from China Square first I got this tray this tray is for for serving hubby's food because the one that I was using it broke so I got this one I can't remember the prices of China Hall <laughs> I'm sorry but I got this one this was one I've not even opened it's also a wooden fill this one and it's a huge huge tray it's a huge one you see even my hand it's a it's a huge tray so i got this one so another kitchen item i got i added this one around wooden chopping board so now i have three yes three wooden chopping board and let me just open because i want to go and clean them
So this is just a normal chopping board, a tiny one. The next thing I got was this. I told you I got my items from China Square. The new items. And this one is for saving flour because who doesn't have this one? Me. Me, I don't have. I've never had it. So I got one for saving flour and um, passion juice. So I got a large one, a large, large, large sieve. So that is another one. The next thing I got... These are just baby items. Sometimes I don't like doing baby items and what do you call it? Baby items and tools. I don't know, it's just my preference of not to share such things. Yeah. Yeah. But I got um, my son two bottles. Yes, these ones are the straw like bottles. Yeah. These are the look like. Yeah. So I got two purple, I mean orange and pink green. So those are the two items I got. The next thing I got this welcome food tag. Yeah, to put, I told you we'll do an outdoor thing. So I'm getting few items here and there. So I got that one also from China. Also got this bottle from China. I think it was a, was it 50 shillings or 70 bucks? There's a hack I saw on TikTok that I want to try with this one. So it's a mix of things that I want to put here and I will need a spray bottle for that. The other thing I got from China Square is this. I got this plastic. Uh, it's brown in color and it's a canvas. I think I'll remove those things once I I'll go wash. <coughs> the other thing I got were four plants. I love four plants. I love fake plants. And I will buy fake plants anytime. So I saw this and a bunch was 300. So I got three bunches. And that is how they look like. So the idea is to put this one because it goes outside my um, my corridor, just outside my corridor. And the other thing I got, I got a brush, this long, is it broom brush, however you want to call it. I got this for sweeping the carpet grass that is outside my door because the broom that we've been using, it's not been cleaning well. So I got this one. And the last ish thing that I got was a spinning mop. This one also got it from china square <coughs> so that is how it looks like like that oh okay i didn't know there were two of these so two brushes oh, two and they are so brilliant white so i got that and there's an extra one here me i'll test this thing tomorrow i'll have to test it 
I'll test it tomorrow and see its performance and see how you know how it performs. So it comes with these two. It comes with like a pump, like a small pump for putting soap disinfectant. So you put it here like that so that you just pump soap in there. This is the presser, the one that you press it. That's it. I think there is the the rod which is now the the mopper. So that is how it looks like. So you fix it. Me even don't know how it's been fixed. Oh, yeah, like so. So that is how you fix it. And you have your mopping rod. So yeah, I got this one from China Square also. So I want to show you the last thing and it's a huge, huge, huge thing. So let me just fix everything. Let me turn the camera around and show you the other thing that we got from China Square. The last thing I got was this cabinet. I got also from China Square that is how it looks like the purpose of the cabinet is to put my thrifted business items because they have not been put or rather i have not been storing them in a nice place so this one acts as my business uh cabinet and yeah so i told you or rather you know I run a business and I have randomly put things there some few items over there because I want to arrange uh, the stock that I have this other side I want open but it's not partitioned as this side I have put quite a lot of things that's that side so I want it partitioned like so and it has two drawers whereby I can put my packaging in here and more things in here. And I love because it fits the aesthetics of the house. Simple white cabinet. It's the three door cabinet. Yeah, so that's it. Those are the only things that i got from china square so uh, one last thrifted item that completely escaped my mind that i want to share with you remember the last remember when i got rugs i got two rugs that was all were of the same uh print and i showed you guys one and then i used another one one of you guys decided they're going to get the same rug that i used and i had to sell it to them and yeah that's exactly what i did the other rug that was meant for this room i sold it and i got another one and i only got one piece of it and i'm not so sure about selling this one it's a neutral beige kind of a rug it's not even a carpet because I think carpets are heavy. I don't know the difference. So this rug, it's a thrift. I got it in Gikomba. And yeah, I will think I'll put like a video of how the rugs or how the rug looks like. It's very neutral. It's black and white. It's beige in color like I've told you and it's it's really not a big rug but i love the feel of the rug i just love the feel of it and i got it those sides of fish market that's where you get most of the rugs but if you can get other rugs in adam's arcade or toy market i guess you can also find more rugs in that area so yeah guys that marks the end of this video thank you so much guys for watching i'll be sure to catch you guys next week 
hopefully next week but i know next week there'll be a video because already i have few things that i like to share with you so yeah i guess that will be it for this video thank you so much guys for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for the shares for the likes thank you so much i really do appreciate it and i see you guys in my next one bye